Hello everyone, Red Knight One here at your service. I'm actually not feeling pretty good very well today. I uh I should know better to actually keep my promise, but at least I finally kept my promise. So let me give you guys a bigger rundown of what's been going on. Ever since starting with December. Starting with December. I quit my job from IHOP because those three guys, those three co-workers, wouldn't stop harassing me and bullying me. So I told my boss, I quit because you keep defending them and you keep letting them harassing me all the time. So I quit. Screw you. You're on your own. I am a bit proud, though, that I managed to actually quit my job. Because working at IHOP is not that fun for me. I don't like being bullied around a lot because I'm always doing my job. And it's not okay to bully co-workers just for your amusement or harassing your co-workers for amusement. You're supposed to take your damn jobs literally. And it's not fair that that let your co-workers getting bullied around just for fun makes it less of a happy time over at work. Nobody actually likes getting bullied around. Unless you're them freaking good-for-nothing co-workers who do. So I told her I quit. Goodbye. For the past, I'd say like six months or seven months, I have been job searching like nuts. So... Hopefully I'll be able to find a new job, something better, because I've already graduated college, but it's so difficult to find a new one these days. And the second is, I have completed the course for a reworking on my 3D modeling and rendering. I figured it might be best if I actually come back to it. Because I really miss doing 3D modeling for some time. Yet, I, stu I still do very good at animation sometimes. Which is why... Yes, this time. This month. I have released... Freaking Textbox. SFM. It's already released. It's posted... Right away. If you haven't checked it out, you need to go check it out right now. Of course, I might need to show it to Nintendo Capri Sun, Mustanella, and Broton John, and let them see what they think about it. It took two years to finally work on it. There were some delays because of work and because of homework. And whenever you have kids in the house, it's harder to do animation. So it's difficult for me to try and concentrate. Now, yesterday, my, our family dog passed away. He was suffering from cancer. And, and it's, it's, um, it's, it's really heartbreaking to lose some some of your pets who is your family pet because it's heartbreaking to know that one of your own pets still would get cancer and it really hurts me and my family to know that our family dog died of cancer he was throwing up time to time and the reason why is because we didn't provide enough medicine. So when we when we're about to feed him, my grandpa got the wrong food product for him and he doesn't want to eat it. I keep telling grandpa to go get the better ones, the new the ones that will only have bear R Max eat. But Grandpa just did nothing about it. And he's always sitting on the chair every time. 
He said he was going to do it, but he didn't. He never even did it. This really hurts me so much to see our family dog die. My little, our little chihuahua, our little black chihuahua, comes to our, comes to my room every time. Wanted to sleep on my bed. He licks on my bed. He licks on my blankets and licks on my pillow. And he's been a good dog sometimes. <sighs> he usually comes up on my LPs. Whenever he feels kind of lonely. So, he passed away yesterday. It hurts me, my older sister, and my dad. This is going to be hard to explain for the kids, though, about death. It really hurts. He's, he's buried right next to Freddy. Our other dog. He is buried right at my dad's place in the backyard next to Fred Fred. I'll never forget him since we picked him up in 2006. When my older sister picked him up in 2006 when he was a puppy. I was in high school. I'll never get over this. I really miss our puppy so much, but there's nothing I can actually do to help. I couldn't get a new job because all the jobs though I see, I never liked them. So, I'm going to miss you, Bear. I'm going to miss you. You'll never be forgotten. I'm going to try and get back to my LPs. Hopefully, I'll just try and drown my sorrows. <sighs> Let's see what else my next planning for source filmmaking is. I haven't come up with the next one, though. That's going to be all. Have a good night, everybody.